this is Eddie Boule, and I hope your day is going beautifully. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. I'm trying to keep from laughing, but this was one of those days that I was scrolling through my Twitter feed and I came across O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson is celebrating because Elon Musk has bought Twitter and he promises to let everybody have a voice. So O.J. says now maybe he can get his blue check. He's been trying to get a blue check on Twitter for the longest. The blue check indicates that it's the real person. You've been verified. They know it's you. He says that there are so many fake O.J. Simpson accounts on Twitter. They're calling themselves O.J. Simpson and the real O.J. and other names. And none of those accounts are his. So he wants to be verified so he can get on Twitter and talk about what he wants to talk about, which is football. So I've got to talk about him. O.J. Simpson is another black man that we loved and he broke our hearts. He was a big time football player at the University of Southern California. He won the Heisman Trophy. He had a beautiful black family. He went to professional football. He did really well in professional football. African Americans just embraced him. We were so proud of him. And then he got the big head. The next thing you know, he has ruined his family. He has divorced his wife. And now he's gone off with the blonde Becky. They had two children. They have to get children involved in these relationships that they can ruin. Because that's the sign that they're happy. They are so happy. They have to convince the world that they're happy. Happier than they could ever possibly be with someone from their own race. And then the next thing you know, they're divorced. He's stalking her, and I believe he was stalking her. I believe he was stalking her because just before the incident happened, he was talking about he was dating his wife again. I believe he was stalking her because she was the trophy. She was the sign that the black man had arrived and he was on his way to becoming a white man or equal to a white man. So her leaving was a blow to him. And with her went the children, alimony, and child support. So he had to pay her. So the fact that she got divorced from him in the first place, as you know, that all was not well with her in that marriage because she was calling police on him even then and that came out in court. So she got rid of him and she was living her life in Southern California in a beautiful condo with her beautiful children and his money. And suddenly the fairy tale came to a brutal end. One Sunday evening, we get breaking news. O.J. Simpson's ex-wife and a male friend have perished at the hands of an unknown assailant. So the police went looking for juice. That's what they used to call them, juice. The police went looking for juice. And you had to be alive in 1994 to see O.J. Simpson going down the freeway. I'm not sure what the name of that freeway is, and I'm not going to look it up, in that white Bronco. That was when SUVs first started coming out. They weren't quite as popular as they are now. They weren't, they weren't nearly as prevalent as they are now. I think the whole country was just glued to the TV, watching O.J. Simpson driving down the freeway with a string of police cars following him. And it just went on and on and on. It was really like watching a movie. I had my TV on all evening and I sat there watching almost in a trance, not able to believe what had really happened. They weren't chasing him. It wasn't a big chase scene. They were just following behind him, quietly following behind him, letting him drive it out. And then eventually they got him and he's in custody and he has to go on trial for what happened to his ex-wife and her friend. O.J. Simpson was acquitted of those two homicides. He stood trial. It was a dramatic trial. And he was acquitted. Johnny Cochran, who was his lawyer, advised him 
to go back into the black community and give back and to show contrition really because it wasn't it wasn't about whether or not you thought he did it or not because the nation was truly divided overwhelmingly white people believed he did it black people were divided although black people believed he did it i think most black people think he did it the only thing was some black people just said well i don't care if he did do it i'm glad he didn't go to jail for it but other black people were like well, you know, he abandoned his black family. He divested from the black community. So some black people were like, well, he got off because the black people, the jury was overwhelmingly black. So holes in the case that the prosecution presented. The Los Angeles Police Department came across as being racist, that they had tampered with evidence, and that they had done a serious job of investigating the crime. The prosecution... Marsha Clark and Chris Darden seem like the right team. They seem like the right combination, but I believe they underestimated the distrust that the black community in Los Angeles had for the Los Angeles Police Department, and I believe they underestimated the bias against black people and the incompetence of the Los Angeles Police Department. I believe those two factors, among others, were what made it hard for them to get O.J. Simpson convicted. And yes, this is almost 30 years later quarterbacking, but it is what it is. And to this day, when Chris Darden talks about that case, you can still almost feel bitterness in him because he, he believed, and I truly believe he believed that O.J. did that. And you can see that it has left a bitter taste in his mouth. As I said before, O.J. Simpson had already divested from the black community. But then when they get in trouble, they always do that. Then they run, run back to the black community for cover. Want somebody to help them save them. Now it's all about a, bit, a racist system. It wasn't racist as long as they were enjoying it and taking advantage of the system. And white people embraced O.J. Simpson. But now that he's on trial for this horrible thing that many black people believed he did now all of a sudden it's about the system being racist and i don't think we even saw through that then like we would see through it now i think black people would look at it just like some black people are looking at kanye west you made that bed you lay in it so a predominantly black jury found oj simpson not guilty of those two murders Johnny Cochran, his defense attorney, told him to go back into the black community and give back because, in his words, they love you. And he was right. Black people loved O.J. Simpson through it all. Now, O.J. Simpson was not like some of these Negroes do now. He wasn't out there trashing and demeaning black women and talking about how he didn't like black women. He was married to a black woman and had three beautiful children. One of those children actually ended up drowning. But Arnell is very beautiful. And the other son is also handsome, but he stays out of the spotlight. But all of O.J.'s children turned out to be attractive. Johnny Cochran gave O.J. Simpson some good advice. Go back into the community, give back, live a low-profile life, and do good in America. Do good so that America can see the good in you. Because again, America liked O.J. Simpson. What did O.J. Simpson do? He moved to Florida. He continued partying, going to strip clubs, playing golf, living his life, riding around on golf carts, smoking cigars, and, 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 and people say, and stealing cable. So he went on about his life and even had the arrogance. He didn't even look back in the black community. He was not thinking about black people. He went right on back to his white world. And they took him back in. Some of them did. And then he had the audacity and the arrogance to write a book that said, referencing what had happened to his ex-wife and her friend, if I did it. You have to be some kind of fool to do something like that. So somewhere a decision was made that we're going to get this Negro. So he was set up. He had some kind of football paraphernalia. And I'm not going to even go into all of that. That he said somebody had stolen from him and had it on display somewhere. I think that's how it went down. 
he broke up in there. I believe he had a gun. And that was the violation. But he broke up in there and was going to take it back. And he was arrested. He had to go to trial for that. And he was found guilty and he spent nine years in penitentiary for that. Over nothing. He got off. Because that's what it was. Some people say he was, a, he, was, he was found not guilty, but people say he got off. Which means that they believe he did it, but he got away with it. Well, this time he didn't get away. They got him, and he went to jail for nine years. And he just got out a few years ago. But this time, he took Johnny Cochran's advice. He pretty much lives a low-profile life now. You rarely hear anything about him except on social media. But he is 74, 75 years old or something like that. So he's too old probably to do much. But he's still running his mouth. He was the it guy in America. He was the beginning of this arrogant, attractive, talented African American man that you can't tell anything. He's like the freshman class of that type of black man that we see so often now. But O.J. Simpson seems none the worse for wear. He's 75 years old. He's just as confident as ever. And he looks good. And he is on Twitter talking about trying to get verified. And he'll just be out there throwing out his opinion just like the whole world wants to know what he has to say. I'm told that they never stop yearning for the limelight. They never forget the crowds and they never forget the applause. He seems like he's just as happy and content and speaks with the most confidence of anybody. So if confidence was a person, it would definitely be O.J. Simpson because he has all the confidence in the world. He speaks with his full chest like he is a star and everybody wants to know what he has to say. And I must admit, that's surprising to me. Because he's going around just like he's oblivious to the fact that he's been accused of double homicide. That he spent nine years in the penitentiary. And there's still a $33.5 million silver judgment against him because of what happened to those two people. He's just acting like those things are not a part of his reality. O.J. Simpson paid his debt to society for what he was actually found guilty of. So he did pay his debt to society. And he has a right to live his life. But I still say, based on his gifts and based on the reception that he received from the American public, I would like to see something more from O.J. Simpson. I would like to see some type of redemptive message and I would like to see some kind of contrition. And I don't think that's asking too much. But he doesn't have that on his mind right now. But he does talk about football. And he's trying to get that blue check. And I hope he gets his blue check. Because I'm curious to see what he's going to talk about besides football. He probably has a lot that he can offer in terms of giving advice to young men who are making decisions based on emotions and self-hatred and other reasons that O.J. Simpson could probably relate to. But it will be interesting to see what he does with his platform if he can get that blue check. So I'll be watching to see. Okay, let me know what you think about the video. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.